Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be my May favorites which is crazy because time is just like flying and ugh, it's just mind blowing. So in today's video I actually have tons of stuff. I've been trying to find new things and just wanted to try out some new products that I saw at the store and etc. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is what's on my lips right now. I don't know how it looks on camera, but when I see it, it's a really nice like um, gradient, soft pink type of color. And these are the two lipsticks that I have been loving on my lips. I am usually not a pink lipstick type of person. I don't know why. I usually go with really darker colors like purples, like dark purples or vampy lips or red lips. But pink lipsticks is one thing that I don't gravitate towards, but I do like them. It's just that I have to be picky with the pink, the color, the specific color of pink that I wear on my lips. So this is what I have on the center of my lips. This is the Ulta Matte Lip Cream in the color Artistic. These matte lip creams are one of my favorites that I personally own. This one is such a soft, girly pink. If you can see that it's really really pretty these are not drying at all on the lips and they go on really velvety and then on the corners just to make my lips look a little bit bigger I've been using this Sephora liquid lipstick in the color 04 I'm not sure of the name but it's a really pretty berry like mauvey color which is that one right there and as you can see these two together are just absolute perfection these are really good liquid lipsticks as well. Um, I haven't seen any for a while, so I don't know what the deal is with that. But these are pretty inexpensive. These are $13, and then the Ulta ones are only $9. So super, super cheap. Now I'm just going to keep it going with the lips. Another color that I have been loving is the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. And this is in the color Floor. And this is a really nice like peachy nude color. I wore this on, what video did I wear this? I don't remember what video I wore this, but it's this one right here. So it has really nice peach undertones, but it's nude at the same time. I love this. It really goes with any look that you wanna um, wear if you wanna go really sultry. This is really nice, or if you wanna do like a really nice bronzy type of look, then this is the perfect lipstick as well. Um, I do have a full like review and swatches on these LA Girl Matte lipsticks if you guys want to watch that. Um, two more lipsticks that I've also been just gravitating towards a lot. This is the NYX High Voltage Lipstick and this is in the color Stone. Yeah, it's in the color Stone. This is what I wore in the video that I did um, products I've used up and if I would repurchase them. This is like your typical beige gray color, if you can see it. It's this one right here. It's really, really creamy and it's super velvety. It glides on the lips really nicely and it's so pigmented. I love these lipsticks because they have a lot of power to them. Like you just really apply one swipe and you're good. They have a really nice consistency and they wear really nicely on the lips as well. So I've been loving this lipstick and you can really wear it either more on the pink side. You can play around with it depending on the lip liner that you wear underneath. I like to use it by itself because it gives a really nice, that grayish, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a pretty color. Now, another lipstick that I've also been loving is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss, and this is in the color Banana Split. I own a couple of these butter glosses, and this one is just so gorgeous. I've been into peach um, lipsticks lately because of the summer. And this one is right up my alley. It's this one right here. It is a little bit more on the neon peach side, but nonetheless, it's a gorgeous color. It's super pigmented and it's really glossy, but it's not sticky to the lips. Absolutely love it. If you've been on the hunt for a like sorbet orange type of lipstick, then I think you're really going to enjoy this one. All right, so I'm just going to start picking up things at random. So another thing that I've been loving is this Bior Free Your Pores Ultra Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. Now, 
I have really oily skin. It's not over oily, but I do have oily skin. And unfortunately, my nose just gets really clogged up with all the sebum and all that dirt. So I constantly have to be cleaning my nose, making sure that it doesn't look bumpy or that I don't have any blackheads. Which I don't get too many blackheads, I do get little whiteheads here. I've been loving these for that. Um, they come with a six pack. You can get them with bigger packs, but I just got these for now. And I'm already down to three strips. All you have to do is wet your nose, you open this, and then you apply it to the nose. It has to be really, really wet, and then you leave it for about five to ten minutes, and then you peel it off really slowly. And it's so cool because you can see all the gunk, all the nastiness on the strips. Which if you like to look at that stuff like me, then you'll find it interesting. So I've been loving these. They don't exactly take out every single little whitehead that you have. But it does take a big portion of them. And I just love these. They are a little bit pricey. Um, I think these were about 6 or $7 for only 6 strips. Which I thought was kind of a rip off. But they work so... This is the EOS Shave Cream. This brightens and evens skin tone with natural shea butter and vitamin B3. It nourishes and softens the skin. And this is in the smell Pomegranate Raspberry. I got this because I saw it on clearance at my local Walmart. And I've never tried any of the EOS shaving creams. And I got this so when I went into the shower and I was going to shave my legs... I took a pump and I saw that it was like cream. I literally had to look at the bottle again. I was like, did I grab lotion by mistake? But no, this is like, it doesn't, I don't know how, to, you know when you shave your legs with like the regular shaving cream, you can just see the consistency of it. This is literally like a lotion. I love this so much. It makes my skin so smooth. Almost to the point where I don't even have to wear lotion. I mean, I still apply it, but my skin feels really nice and moisturized. I love this stuff. It smells really, really good. And I just feel like it's a better and easier process to shave my legs because it's just so smooth. And I don't know, I just, I really, really, really have been loving it. So, yeah. Um, another thing that I've been using in the shower as well is this Body Bodycology sweet seduction moisturizing body wash i always like to switch up my body washes because i don't like to stay with just one smell forever i always switch them up and try new brands i've never tried this brand before but when i was getting a new body wash it literally brought back so many memories this smells exactly like um love spell by victoria's secret that purple spray exactly like it if you guys have this or if you come across it smell it and tell me if this does not remind you of love spell by victoria's secret so i had to pick it up because i don't know that's the body spray that i used to use back in the day with my best friend and it just brought back a lot of memories so i've been using this as you can see it's not the best honestly it doesn't really leave your skin moisturized or really soft or silky or anything but it lingers on you for the longest time and I love it because my shower smells like this for the longest time. So it does penetrate pretty nicely. And like I said, the smell is just... I'm quickly going to talk about two mascaras that I've been loving for months. If you guys have seen my makeup videos, then you have seen this mascara um, on my recent videos. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And this is the Benefit Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, one of my friends from Vegas, Aaron, he actually sent me a goodie box with a whole bunch of Benefit um, stuff and other brands and he sent me this one. I love this mascara so much. I don't especially love it for my top lashes because I don't have the longest lashes and I don't notice anything as far as leaving my lashes curled to be honest but I love, love, love this for my lower lashes. I always struggle to find a good mascara to make my lower lashes look really long and really full. And this delivers just that. It separates them really nice and it gives them a really nice, um, what do you call it? It just makes them really long. And then I go in with the Better Than Sex Mascara and it just volumizes them a little bit more and it plumps them up. So they look long and thick. <sighs> I love them. Alright, so really quickly I'm going to talk about some bronzers and some highlights that I have also been loving. I recently got this in the mail and... Oh, look how dirty it is. I'm sorry. This is the Gerard Cosmetics um, 
star powder and this is in the color lucy it's gorgeous packaging i saw that they were coming out with highlights and i love highlights that's like what i can collect for ever and never be sick of them so this is what it looks like it's a gorgeous gorgeous color it's this one right here let me give you a swatch it's such a pretty rosy color it's that one it is breathtaking it is what i'm wearing on top of my blush today and i think that this highlight and the blush that i'm about to show you are just like a match made in heaven because it does have those like rosy gold undertones and so does my blush it is so pretty a little goes a long way it's so creamy it's so velvety and oh, it's just gorgeous if you are my skin complexion and darker i think this is going to look beautiful on your skin definitely definitely a must have on everybody's collection i think because you don't come across these type of colors very often um, another highlight that I've also been loving is the Wet n Wild Hollywood Boulevard. Um, this is the Fergie Center Stage Collection. This highlight is so pretty. I mentioned this in one of my Snapchats. If um, you don't have me on Snapchat, I will have my Snapchat name underneath. This color is so pretty. That little thing broke, so don't mind that. This is such a gorgeous champagne color. Even though it looks like it would be different colors because you see like pink and like brown but no this is what you get this is the highlight right here so pretty if you like those champagne yellow ish type of highlights i think you're going to love this one really pretty super inexpensive i think it's around five or six dollars and oh, it's so nice um another highlights uh, well, this one's more of a bronzer, I guess, but I use it as a highlight because I'm darker skin. This is the Hard Candy. What is this? This is the So Baked Bronzer, and this is in the color Tropics, 130 Tropics. I did apply just a tiny bit of this on top of my Gerard Cosmetics highlights just here to give it that little extra oomph. And then I have it on my forehead, and I applied it a little bit on my shoulders. This is such a pretty bronzer. Oh my gosh, I cannot get enough of this. Now this is more of a golden bronze type of highlights. It's this one right here. I don't know if you can see it because I have so many highlights. But it's that one right there. So pretty. I love it. Like I said, I've been into highlights. I'm just on a kick. And I've been loving this one so much. Now this one, I don't know okay well I'm just going to be adding it with my highlights because that's what I've been using it as this is the Sony Kashuk Desert Escape um, this is the Sahara um, collection recently launched this is actually an eyeshadow and I thought it was a highlight until I read about it I was like oh it's not a highlights but that's okay um, so you get tons of colors here I really got it because of these colors and you can use them as a highlight. I mean, probably not, not this one because it's more on, like, the tan side. But this color right here, it is so pretty. Let me show you right here. So you can use it as both as an eyeshadow or as a highlight. But it's that one right there. And I just take a small brush and I apply it to the high points of my cheekbones. And it gives me just the most perfect highlights. Again, I really thought this was a highlighter, but... But it turned out to be an eyeshadow, which is okay. I can use it for both, so that's another win-win for me. Talking about highlighters, this has been the brush that I've been using to just really pack on um, my highlights. This is the Real Techniques uh, setting brush. Now, this brush is really nice because it's kind of like multifunctional. You can use it to set your, um, your concealer, or you can use it to just really get in there and like chisel out the cheekbones to make a really nice straight line. Or you can use it like me to just apply your highlights. I love this to apply my highlight because it's so fluffy and it's not dense. It just packs it on really nicely. And then I just go in and blend it out. So I've been loving this for the highlights. Oh, and another highlight that I've also been loving, sorry. This is the Ofra Derma Mineral Powder in Pink Sapphire. I got this in my March or April BoxyCharm. 
and I have not put this baby down since then. I forgot to mention it in my last favorites video, but I took it out and made sure that I would mention it today. It comes in a little thingy like this, and all I do is I'll take a little bit, I'll show you, I mean, a little bit goes a long way. Now this does have some glitter and shimmer to it, so if you don't like that type of highlights, you won't like this. But what I like to do, let's just pick on some more highlights. What I like to do is I like to apply my highlight and sometimes if it's not intense and I want to make it a little bit more intense because I really like to be just a glowing star, I'll take my powder and then I'll apply it at the highest po point of my cheekbones. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's like intense. And it just gives you that extra oomph to your face. I love it so, so much. So the blush that I was talking about is this one right here. This is the Milani Baked Blush. So pretty. This is in the color Rose D'Oro. So, so pretty. It has gold flecks in it and it has um, those peach undertones and I live for for peach blushes which is that one right here and it does have a little bit of shimmer to it so you can use it both as a highlight and as a bronzer you know me I like to be a little more dramatic and add my highlights so I like to mix them both and like I said this combination is just what I've been wearing non-stop and I just think they go perfectly together so a bronzer that I've also been wearing non-stop is this one right here. I also got this in my last BoxyCharm. This is by the brand Model, and it is the prettiest bronzer I've ever seen. This I like because it doesn't give me that orange cast. It's just a really nice warm color. It's what I'm wearing on my face today just to give it a little bit more warmthness, and I love it. It does have a little bit of gold flex in it, but you can't really see them when you apply them to the face. But as you can see for yourself, it's really, it's really bright and it's really, it's really pretty. I really, really love it. Um, another bronzer that I've been using, and this is more of a contour. This is the Nikki Garrett Contour Duo. I did have a video on this, and I use the color medium. This is a bronzer that I've been using pretty much every time that I apply my makeup because it gives me the perfect contour. It's not too dark, but it's not too orangey either. It has a little bit of those cool toned colors that I love to contour my face. And then you also get a little highlight, which I've also been wearing this. I will leave their website where you can get it um, if you are interested. So I'm going to talk about these really quickly. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail because I do have a video on these. These are the two foundations that I have been wearing non-stop. I haven't worn anything ever since I bought these two. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I am in the color 108 Caramel Beige. This is a little bit too yellow for me because I don't have yellow undertones, but then the shade that is next to it is too dark for me. So I kind of have to make this work. I do like to mix these two together. Um, this is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, and this is in the color Medium Dark Syracuse, and this is just a tiny bit too dark for me. So when I mix these two, it's like, perfecto. I love the way these make my skin look. I do have, again, oily skin, so I always have to be wearing something that's going to keep me matte. But I don't like that flat finish, so as you can see, I do like to have a glow on my face. And this allows me to put on as much highlight as I want and not look like a grease ball. So I've been loving these so, so much. Now, for concealer, these two have been my favorite as well. This is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect Plus Radiant Glow Concealer. This is in the color Medium, 430 Medium. I don't know if this is new. I, I haven't seen anybody talk about this. And I saw it at Walmart the other day, and I, I think it's new. This is such a full coverage concealer, like no joke. It kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay Weightless Concealer, but it's not as weightless as this one. Now, because this is in the color medium, um, I do like for my under I do like for my under eyes to look a little bit brighter. So I like to go in with my Fit Me concealer, and I use the color 20 Sand Sable, which is a lot lighter than this one, if you can see. So I'll apply this right here, and then I'll just bring the Fit Me down here, just so I can look a little bit brighter and more awake. 
Um, so yeah, this is such a great concealer. If you guys want more of a in-depth review slash whatever, let me know and I will do that for you guys. But I've been loving these two. Now to actually set my concealer, I've been using a lot the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I saw this um, because Patrick Starr mentioned it in one of his videos. Now I do like to use this more when I'm going to go out somewhere or if I have a long day ahead of me. I know that this is going to keep me in place all day and I do like to bake um, my concealer with this. So I love it. I just don't like the smell of it. It's really like talky. Oh yeah, another product that has made it to my OMG list is the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. I got this a couple of weeks ago and now I was going to add it to one of my Waste or Worth It Wednesdays videos, but I don't know. I just decided to talk about it. This makeup spray is amazing. I didn't think I was going to like it, but this sets my makeup nicely. Like, oh my god, my makeup does not budge. It does not go anywhere. This is amazing. It's only about $6. Now, I don't know where I left the little pump because the pump is not white. It's a black one. That pump is horrendous. I don't like it. It sprays so much on your face. Like, I feel wet. And I don't like to feel like that. I actually changed it out to my Urban Decay All Night, All Night Setting Spray or something like that. So I just switched the pumps and now it's more of a spray like that. Oof. So... I've been loving this and then these two brushes I've also been using so much. I'm always on the hunt for affordable makeup brushes. I don't want to spend a hundred and something dollars on a set. I'm just cheap like that. This one is a flat kabuki brush and this is a pro blending brush. And both of these are by the brands Beauty Junkies. These are an online website which I will have a lot of information listed down below if you guys want to check out more information. They are just such amazing quality. I think this one compares a lot to the Sigma E40 top flat top kabuki brush and this is just an amazing blending brush. I've been using this one specifically non-stop. Um, I am going to have a video where I'm going to go in depth a little bit more about my favorite makeup brushes, what they're for, and which ones I would recommend. And these definitely have made it to my favorite list. So keep an eye out for that. So that is everything. I hope this video wasn't too long or too boring. I feel like this time I did have tons of stuff. So let me know what your favorite product was for the month of May. And I will have to try it out because I always love trying out new products. So that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.